have a red worked with SQLize. You have a red face it, the synchronization method, the sync. But you actually know what it does. It's a method I actually do not like to use. I prefer normally to have the database defined and then when mapping the models, the entities from the code, from the programming language, just map for existing tables. So the whole um, entity relationship model could be defined in a separated moment than the programming. But sometimes it's necessary for some context to define the models directly in the programming language and create the model automatically from that. And it is what the synchronization does. As you can see here, we have three ways to use that. The first way, it will just create tables for mapping one specific entity if this table does not exist. The outer will identify if some new column was added, for instance, or removed and perform the update in the database, the outer table statement. And the most dangerous, the force. The force, force will always, always um, drop the tables. And it's dangerous because sometimes you could have data there already, already even in your test environment, okay? And then you could have problems. I have already seen situations where developers had the, the, the integration, the testing environment done, and when some new developer set up his environment with this option flagged, it deleted the whole structure and recreated. And most databases do not need only this structure, but even a lot of testing data for the application running properly for the test case be executed properly. So it's dangerous. So it's very important to know how to use that because it's sometimes important to have the possibility for the application create automatically the schema in their database without need to do that separately. So let's experience how to do that with Node.js and SQLite. Let's analyze this Node.js code. As you can see here, we have a model defined, a model named product and we ask for synchronization. It's important to highlight, we don't synchronize the whole SQLize object, we synchronize the models. So when we ask we want to synchronize the product model, we are saying to try to create a table with this name, containing these columns in your database, in my case, in MySQL database, in a database named Sakila. In case we open this database here using the workbank, you, we can see here that it's ordered alphabetically. There is no product table created. I can refresh that and there is no product table created. But if we run the code we have here that has the sync method, just run that, we can observe here in the output that is an attempt to create this table, a table named product, but just in case it not exists because we're not using the force parameter here. Okay, and now it has executed that. We can go again to the database and ask for showing the data. And now we have the product table exactly with the columns we have asked for. So that is why the sync method is useful, uh, but you need to remember you just need that in case you really want to manage your database structure from your application. If you want to have your model designed and, and created directly in the database, it's a not necessary method. Okay, thank you for watching and see you in next time.